Hey everyone, it's uh, Rob Ryder, Thursday, August 16th, 2012. Uh, I do a lot of these videos, as you can probably tell. I've never done one to uh, a group of people that I have quite a lot of admiration for. Uh, the military. I spent 10 years in the Army myself. So, uh, attention, all oath-bound officers. Your conscience is now called to God's court of conscience to self-confess to the sanctity of your character. Are you a man or a person? Adjutant General, prepare your Judge Advocate Generals to establish military tribunals to investigate the acts of treason that are concealed in the act of state laws under the seal of the state of Michigan. I'm quite sure similar acts of treason exist in all the organized state laws, and an immediate inquiry is ordered. I bring this to your attention for one simple reason. To not do so would make me guilty of misprison of treason and damnation on my soul. This is the most public of records I could think of to bring this to your attention. So what will you do now that you've been informed? The Heavenly Father's Court of Conscience calls your conscience to give its testimony to your Creator. Will you be judged a man or a heretic? Bear with me, i got to have some Gospel of Thomas moments here. For anybody that ever listened to me before, if you want to really get an understanding, please go read the Gospel of Thomas. Please, please, please. Jesus said, I have cast fire upon the world, and see, I am guarding it until it blazes. That's the Holy Spirit, brothers and sisters. He cast the Holy Spirit upon the world, and he's guarding it until it blazes. Jesus also said, Men think, perhaps, that it is peace which I have come to cast upon the, earth, the world. Notice he said the world. They do not know that it is dissension which I have come to cast upon the earth. Fire, sword, and war. For there will be five in a house, three against two, two against three. The father is against the son, the son against the father. And they will stand solitary. The Pharisees and the scribes have taken the keys of knowledge and hidden them. They themselves have not entered, nor have they allowed to enter those who wish to. You, us, my brothers and sisters, however, be as wise as serpents and as innocent as doves. Jesus said, Blessed are the solitary and the elect. The elect. E-L-E-C-T. Keep that in mind. For you'll find the kingdom. For you are from it, and you will return. Jesus said, Whoever has come to understand the world has found only a corpse, and as God is my witness, I have, and whoever has found a corpse is superior to the world. And I'm going to be their worst nightmare. So who am I? Well, I'm Robert Allen, son of God, the elect of the Heavenly Father, an immortal living soul created in His image. I claim the kingdom of heaven as my domicile of right, and the earthen vessel I inhabit as my domicile of choice. The earthy man, Robert Allen Ritluski. That's me. A little bit about me. That's for my military brothers. I spent ten years in the Army. That's where I learned to be a man. I was a staff sergeant in the United States Army. We used to call it the white trash finishing school. I had an ASFAB score of 97%. Some say it's pretty good. I can and do stare at clouds and command them to disappear. And I praise God as they do. If it's a godly cloud, it will go away. Them ones made from chemtrails, they just don't want to play. When you can make a chemtrail cloud go away, <laughs> any owl worshiper has really got a problem. I can instruct a rock to paint itself. Well, not literally, but I've taught a lot of people a lot of things in my life. I'm on this one man's journey through the valley of the shadow of death, and I will fear no evil, and have dedicated all my God-given energy into fulfilling the prophecies in any manner I can, so that what is done in the dark is brought to the light, and see God's earth cleansed of a small handful of owl-worshipping Heavenly Father hating, war pig loving, sons of Satan, return to their domicile. 
wherever that is. It just isn't going to be here. We're returning the earth to the kingdom of heaven. So, what did the army teach me? Very, very important lessons. Number one, let your conscience be your guide. It's easier to get forgiveness than it is to get permission. Hallelujah. How often... <laughs> How often a good NCO needs a haircut. <laughs> and I still remember the moment <laughs> when I found out. It was the only time. Lead, follow, or get the fuck out of the way. It's just the way it is, right? At the end of the day, you're either going to lead, going to follow, or just get the hell out of the way because somebody's got to do something. To be a peacemaker or an avenging angel, I can be your best friend or I'll be your worst nightmare. To diagnose, troubleshoot, repair complicated logic circuits. I'm very, very good at it. And knowledge is free. Bring your own container. If you really want to find it, you can find it and you can learn it. There's nothing you can't be there's nothing you can't teach yourself. You just need access to the knowledge. <clears throat> and as you can see, Jesus himself said, That's what the Pharisees took from us. So we're starting with our own blank slate. So, in my knowledge base, I read Blackstone's Commentaries English Law, Lord Coke's Institutes of the Laws of England, Lord Fortescue, uh, and Praise the Laws of, of England, uh, land law books, property books, books about deeds, books about common law, books about pleas of the crown, books about what the uh, uh, the penalty of high treason is <laughs> book four Lord Coke all pleas of the crown very first one high treason what's high treason to imagine the king is dead is high treason what's the penalty it's in the back of the book go find it yourself I'm sure a good adjutant general or his staff knows this stuff so I'm not too worried about it I'm just assuming you needed to be informed. So this is one man informing you in the best way he knows how until I get your phone number. So listen up, pay attention. This is out of the Michigan Compiled Law, Home Rule, City Act, Act 279 and 1909, wherein if a financial emergency exists under the local government, and the School District Physical Accountability Act, something or other, something's going to happen. So, if there's a financial emergency under the local government, what might happen? Well, let's go see what 6 says. A uh, statutory lien and trust is going to be created, uh, subject to a lien and trust, which is, again, a statutory lien and trust, but now it's the paramount and superior to all other liens and interest of any kind. That's one song bitch to have on you. Damn it. Well, and then we find out the lien and trust created under this subsection for the benefit of the bondholders or others is perfected without delivery, recording, or notice. What WTF is that? Judge? Where is a frickin' justice? So what was the act they say might have to happen? Well, this is that Local Government and School District Physical Accountability Act, Act 4, 2011. Section 141.1523, recommendations proceed under Title 11 of the United States Code. They're going to put us in frickin' bankruptcy. Who are they going to put in bankruptcy? Let's read on and find out. If in the judgment of the emergency manager, no reasonable alternative to rectifying the financial emergency of the local government, which is in receivership, uh, yeah, 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 okay, then that, that the local government, that's the electors, you, me, and us, be authorized to proceed under Title 11, United States Code. All you people looking for where the frickin' bankruptcy is, it's in the local government. The local government is you. Go look at a frickin' uh, uh, flowchart of a uh, of how the uh, hierarchy, hierarchy is. In a township, the electors are on the top. The board sits underneath. I guess the electors are the government. 
the way it's supposed to work apparently here in Michigan is all the registered electors which as I found out yesterday we have none in my township all the registered electors get together and they take a vote and then whatever they vote and decide they go down and they tell the people sitting on the council this is what we want you to do and then they their job should be lawfully to be the administrative arm of the government go administer my orders basically but that isn't how it appears to happen down at those places they seem to think they have control over us yet they've taken an oath so the uh, every local municipality uh, chief magistrate the top dog and all the other elected officers have all taken an oath to the Constitution of the United States Constitution the state Constitution and here in uh, the township I live in Oakfield Township in and for Township of Oakfield that's the territorial way Oakfield is known in the organized state is Oakfield Township in the unincorporated federal district federal territory under small f federal law common law law of nations a protection were guaranteed under the Constitution you can't come in and give me do anything to me unless you're gonna do it in due process of law well what the hell's going on here I want an inquiry that's what the hell I want okay so they put us in chapter 11 well what's happened now oh, okay if the local government is a school district okay well then it's the people in the local government local government as you'll see is you know you me us we're already all electors if you're over 21 years of age live in the state six months meet the local residency requirement you're an elector local res residency requirement is 30 days so you are an elector however they have this funky ass system set up that you need to be a registered elector so that you can vote on what you want the council to do well there are no registered electors there are no registered electors it goes on to say in the uh, Michigan statutes that the Secretary of State's duty is to have a frickin form down there to register electors but I went down yesterday they don't have a damn idea what I'm talking about I talked to the election board they don't have a frickin idea either or I'm tired of talking to fucking counter trolls I want some justice I want a fucking justice to go take a look at this shit so you sergeants at law whatever the hell you call yourselves I'm calling your ass out right now you're conscious before the Creator you're gonna fucking file your oath or not anyway so there you are people <laughs> local government of their municipality that's you have just been made debtors in chapter 11 resulting in all their property being confiscated in receivership from an act that allows statutory lien to be perfected while having recorded notice or delivered what the f, f is that kind of sounds unconstitutional to me I wonder how the United States Supreme Court feels about this well, let's go look and see what they may have oh look what they did for us get out your pens and papers lawyers 171 US 404 in the first of those cases the High Court of Errors Appeals Mississippi speaking by Judge Harris held a statute that's of that state declaring the forfeiture of lands on the failure simply of the owner to pay taxes due thereon without notice or hearing in any form to be a violation of the Constitution no notice no hearing no due process of law I decided that was unconstitutional yet oh, please get your pens out home rule city act act of 279 1909 section 6 statutory lien and trust perfected well delivery recording or notice I, I can only assume they're the same I'll bear witness that I believe that to be the same if somebody will put it on an affidavit under penalty of perjury put it under your frickin' seal and tell me that isn't what it says but 
bunch of frickin' counter trolls. Alright, where the hell are we at? Ah, and another case. In all cases where land shall be hereafter forfeited for failing to, to list for taxation or stricken off the state, the title of such land shall vest in the Commonwealth by virtue of this act without any inquest of office found unless lands redeemed according to law. Ah, oh, inquest of office found. I demand to have one of those for myself. I need a justice to come with his ink pad seal and docket book. I needed to see somebody from the one court of justice. The court speaking by Chief Justice Lindsay said in pursuing to the inquiry, we need not call in question the power of legislature to provide levy collection taxes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, you guys go ahead and do it. It is equally clear the legislature may impose upon a taxpayer duty of listing his property. Yep, yep, yep. All that's lawful. I'm not I agree with it. But when such laws are enacted, the forfeitures prescribed must be regarded as penalties, and they cannot be inflicted until inquiry, which is an inquest of office, has been made. And the commission of the offense asserted by due course of law. That isn't what happens. An IRS lien is a statutory lien. You're, they put a, any UCC1 filing is a statutory lien, period. They're all statutory liens. They're all unconstitutional. And I'm making the whole frickin' world know it here now today. And I'm calling the army out. Go clean up the damn mess. <sighs> to enjoy what shall be done and left to be undone to secure the obedience of injunction appropriate penalties belongs exclusively to legislation. To ascertain the violation of such injunction that inflict the penalty belongs to the judicial function. It's your frickin' job, judge. Justice. Black robe priest? What the, who the, which one are you? How come I cannot find a justice? Uh, me and my rowdy friends have been out looking for justice and we can't find it. And we're looking real damn hard. By the Magna Carta, it was declared that no citizen shall be deceased of his freehold or condemned by the lawful judgment of his peers or by law of the land. Oh, the only way he can be. Okay. We conclude without hesitation that so much of the Act 1825 has provided that for the mere failure to list lands for taxation, the title should be forfeited, and so ipso facto, so without inquiry or trial, without opportunity a party opposed, to be in default even to the manifest is an innocence. Be vested, and the Commonwealth is unconstitutional void. All right, so for you Michigan... Uh, <laughs> Judge Advocate General members. There's a little form in the local uh, government that came from the Michigan Treasury. And it's called a personal property tax statement. And you read this thing and the owner of this personal property was supposed to have filled out this very well, I don't know how complicated it is, about a six-page form. The value of all your properties all the time, you know, since 1997 and now, and a number that was a combination of all those numbers before 197, or 1997, excuse me. And then it says in the instructions that it's mandatory to file this thing. And if it's not filed, right, that's a crime. You could go, you could be in prison for not filing this. So, I figured, well, I, I better file off of mine's file. So I did a Freedom of Information Act to the township because it says in there it will be filed with the township or the county. No, township or city. Well, lo and behold, on my Freedom of Information Act, they said there is no such record there. Well, I didn't have any notice I had to fill this out. I don't know anybody that's ever gone to a CPA who's supposed to be an expert at accounting to tell you needed to do this. I wonder how that happened. It sounds like it's concealment to me. It could be construed to be concealment. I'm going to construe it to be frickin' treason. So what's the Michigan Constitution say we might find interesting? Well, we the people of the United States, uh, we the people of the state of Michigan, grateful to the Almighty God for the blessings of freedom, 
and earnestly desire to secure the these blessings undiminished to ourselves and our prosperity do ordain and establish this constitution all political power is inherent in the people it's in the fucking people that's the elector e-l-e-c-t-o-r qualifications to be an elector over the age of 21 in state for six months to know you are a man for at least six months and 30 days as a resident in a township makes you an elector you now have all the power I don't need to register Jack to be an elector I am a fucking elector and I'm giving you an order go straighten it out because here's the qualifications every citizen of the United States who has attained the age of 21 who resided in this state six months and who meets the requirements of local residents provided by law shall be an elector and qualified to vote in any decision except as otherwise provided in this Constitution. Legislature shall define residence for voting purposes. So the way this should work, and the way it works right now, Washington, D.C. has three representatives. Not Washington, D.C., District of Columbia. The District of Columbia is the capital of the nation of America, a seat of government, and it's the capital. Any of the elemental republics that have registered the way they have it now, registered electors, would be as equal to Washington, D.C., and you would vote directly for the president. You wouldn't be voting for a representative, and that's where you can self-govern, govern yourself or be governed. And in a, live in a republic where the all the power resides in the people or their elected representatives. Well, I'm not going to elect a representative. I'm going to keep my own and just be an elector and vote on the law not on some other jack to go do it for me. Some owl-worshipping, backbiting bastard. What else we got? Article 4, Judicial Branch. The judicial power of the state is exclusively best, ex vested exclusively on one court of justice. The judicial power, so all the judicial power of the state, in the smallest state is me, is vested exclusively on one court of justice. I need to find the one court of justice. I demand they show themselves. We shall be divided into one su Supreme Court, one Court of Appeals, one Trial Court, a General Jurisdiction, another Circuit Court, one Probate Court. Now look at, I know the Township Hall Superintendent is a Justice of the Peace. It's a frickin' court. They pass ordinances. Yet, when questioned, he told me they weren't a court. Now, I'm not blaming the man. He don't, he needs a little education. He's probably a really good man. But you guys have fallen down on the job. You're supposed to be in charge of the judiciary. What the fuck is going on? When I can't go find a justice to give him my complaint, to have it put in a docket book so it gets concurrent original jurisdiction in the Supreme Court. That's what I want to find. The U.S. Constitution, the judicial power of the United States shall be vested in one Supreme Court. So all the power of the United States is in one Supreme Court. United States four different definitions by the Supreme Court. The one I like, it says, I'm a United State. And in such inferior courts as Congress may from time to time ordain. Well, those would be all the territorial states. And establish the judge, both Supreme and inferior courts, shall hold their offices during good behavior and shall, at stated times, receive for their service compensation, which shall not be diminished during their continu continuance in office. Now, I think that the... Um, the Supreme Court for the Territory of Michigan's in Detroit. It's not in Lansing because the territory was in Detroit. The organized state moved to Lansing. I don't think the territory ever moved. I think that's where the small g governor is, the secretary of state, small s, who's supposed to have a form, secretary of state, you're supposed to have a form at the frickin' uh, uh, township hall that I can go fill out to be a registered elector. It says it's your duty, yet they don't have a frickin' clue what I'm talking about. You're either derelict in your duties or you're committing treason. So be a witness or a defendant, but get it fixed. The judicial powers have extended all cases in law and equity arising under this Constitution, the laws of the United States, the treaties made, of which shall be made under their authority, to all cases affecting ambassadors, other public ministers, and counselors. Yeah, I'm bringing treason 
to the one court of justice because you're the only ones that can hear it. To all cases of amity and maritime jurisdiction, I don't give a shit about that. To controversies to which the United States shall be a party. Yeah, that's what I'm interested in. What are you going to make me a party to? To controversy between two or more states. Between state citizens. Yeah, 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 okay. Citizens of the same state. Look it, here's the deal. I'm an immortal living soul, the name is God, and so are all my other brothers and sisters. And so, if you want to bring a charge, come and take a fucking oath. If not, it's fraud. It's that simple. It's contempt of court to sue in the name of fictitious plaintiff. I'll say it again. It's contempt of court to sue in the name of a fictitious plaintiff. And unless you're going to put it on a asservation, your solemn asservation that I'm incorrect, then that's what the fucking truth is. In all cases affecting ambassadors, other public ministers, councils, <laughs> councils, I'm talking to you, councils, and those in which the state shall be a part of the Supreme Court shall have original jurisdiction. There you go, Supreme Court. If I'm involved, the Supreme Court's involved. And there's not one civil case that's ever been completely executed. They're all sitting in frickin' um, on deposit, man. They're all on file. It's just on deposit. It's fucking crazy. You let take some man and throw him in a cage for a piece of paper to trade. Look at that signature's mine. That's my property. I'm the I'm the lawful owner of my property. What do you want with it? I want the Supreme Court to have original jurisdiction and then we're going to have an inquest office and I'll bring in my owner's certificate of title which is the certificate of live birth that shows the first time I was ever registered about 13 days after birth by the local registrar who when you put his name into Google was the city clerk. I was put into the federal territory at the city. I don't need to be part of the organized state and I'm not. I'm in the territory under the law of nations. And that better fucking be recognized. The trial of all crimes there in cases of impeachment shall be a jury in such trials of state. The crimes have been committed committed without the state. Trial shall be such places in the Congress. Well, yeah. We can have a trial at the township hall. They have jurisdiction over everything that happens in the township. The only way anybody's ever supposed to be served is by a township hall uh, trustee and that's after they've taken a vote on it. Because a man can only be sued in his domicile. You can sue and be sued from your domicile. Your domicile is wherever you choose it to be. And you choose the political subdivision you want to be part of. If you're an inhabitant of the county in Michigan, all your property is the county's property. If you're an inhabitant in the township in Michigan, all your property is yours. And you just run your business through the township hall. And they make sure that you're not getting sued by fictitious plaintiffs because they be a court of record directly tied to the Supreme Court. It's the most powerful court there is. It's a court of man in front of God. <laughs> That's the best thing. Treason against the United States. Oh, here's my favorite. Shall consist only in levying war against them or in adhering to, to their enemies, giving them aid and comfort, no person shall be convicted of treason unless on the testimony of two witnesses to the same overt act or on confession in open court. Okay, well, I'm going to give you two witnesses. Just bring me something to sign. They've already given their own witness. A witness is evidence under seal, and these acts are under the seal of the state of Michigan. That's the evidence it's already given. I'm just putting it into words because paper can't speak. And common law is the unwritten law of reason, which means you got to freaking speak it. So isn't it reasonable that that could be considered the witnesses necessary to charge them for fucking treason? Congress shall have the power to declare a punishment of treason, but no attainder of treason shall work to corrupt the blood for for of forfeiture except during the life of the person attained. This is for you owl worshippers. Look, at this isn't going to affect your kids. Your sin isn't going to go with you. But in old English law, you would have corrupted your blood and your family wouldn't be able to 
uh, for them to inherit your their inheritance you were supposed to have left them had you not committed treason. Because when you commit treason in old English law, they draw on cordia. It's still in the books. It's in the Institutus of the Laws of England by Lord Coke, which is a frickin' book of authority brought into court today's law. Go look at the definition of book of authority. Man, you guys are messing with fire, I'm telling you. So this is what makes an elector. Every citizen of the United States who has attained the age of 21, the same thing in Michigan, reside in the state six months, meets the requirements for local residence provided by law, the elector qualified vote, except as otherwise. And then what we have, qualification of voter and officers, an elector of a township to have the right to vote in all matters and questions before any township. It didn't say I needed to be a registered elector. It says an elector of the township shall have the right to vote on all matters and questions before any township meeting of the electors. So I'm an elector. I want to have a meeting. I don't know why I need to be registered, but if that's what it takes now is to be registered, then I'm happy to do it. Just give me the damn form. However, I'm writing up my own uh, affidavit like it says I can in the, uh, the statutes, and I'm going to go that way. Because the electors are the local government, and the people are the electors. So, on the uh, Michigan National Guard site, it said, Ask the Adjutant General. So, what is an Adjutant General? The senior military officer. Forget that and de facto. There's an and between it. The senior military officer, commander of the state's military forces, including the National Guard, the Naval Militia, and any state defense forces and is subordinate to the chief executive. Well, guess what? I am a chief executive. You're subordinate. Eh, get over it. It's just the military, man. Take an order. It's good for the world. It's good for the earth. It's good for fellow man. You need somebody to give you the order? I'm giving it to you. Go, go, go. Go find out what's going on. Do a, a court of inquiry on those, uh, uh, those acts. Well, let's make it official. So I said, do you have a question for Major General Gregory Vadnais, Adjutant General of the Michigan National Guard? I do. But first, I am Robert Allen, son of God. Here is one of his elect, domiciled in this earthen vessel known as Robert Allen Rutluski, lawful owner of the land of the state, Robert Allen Rutluski, the all caps, and it's all its real pers and personal property. I'm a national non-U.S. citizen. General, I accept your oath and that of your men, bind you to them, remind you of your fiduciary duty to the American Nationals of Michigan. I extend you my sovereign immunity by carrying out my lawful orders and ensure, ensuring God's laws are obeyed. My question is, now that I have pointed out treason against the people, how long will it take you to round up the traitors responsible for the en enactment and enforcement of these acts of treason known as the Home Rule City Act? Act 279, 1909, Local Government School District Physical Accountability Act, Act 4, 2011. I'm sure we can find some more. In fact, I know we have. I just, this is already getting too long. This earthly wetness of the he Heavenly Father awaits your answer and is ready to give solemn asservation with Heavenly Father as my witness to my testimony. I can be reached at 616-712-6179. Give me a call. Let's do lunch. So in closing... Now in darkness, world stops turning. Ashes wear the bodies burning. No more war pigs have the power. Hand of God has struck the hour. Day of judgment, God is calling. On their knees, the war pigs crawling, begging mercy for their sins. Satan laughing spreads his wings. <laughs> oh, Lord, yeah. All right, I'm wore out.